Yo crypto fans, thanks for clicking on that video. Terra Luna Classic Burn hits 70 billion milestone ahead. Major burn by Binance. What to expect? Watch this video till the end. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and let's get right to it. Subscribe to my Telegram channel. There I post shocking crypto news daily. The total Luncy burned by the Terra Luna Classic community reaches 70 billion, hitting another milestone in the community's efforts to reduce the circulating supply of Luance since May 18th, 2022. The world's largest crypto exchange, Binance, has burned almost 36 billion Luancy, contributing over 50% to the total Luntz burned until now. Luancy token circulating supply is 5.81 trillion, and the total supply is 6.84 trillion Luancy. However, the community still needs to increase utility to increase the Luancy burn rate. After the May 2022 Terra Luna crisis and Duquan separating the chain from TFL, the community took responsibility and started a burn campaign, along with other features such as staking last year. Terra Luna Classic is managed by community-approved developers, as well as trusted validators and members. Terra Luna Classic burn campaign now reaches the 70 billion Luindy milestone as crypto exchanges, validators, projects, and members burn Luindy by sending it to the burn address. The community burns on average 400 million Luindy per week, with Binance sending billions to the burn address as part of its monthly Lunka burn mechanism. Binance burned over 2.65 billion Luncy tokens in the 11th batch of the Luncy burn mechanism on July 1st, with the Luncy burned by the crypto exchange to date reaching over 35.5 billion. The joint L1 task force developer group and the Quant USTC Repeg team aim to focus on reducing the Luncy and USTC circulating supply in Q3. The developers aim to repeg USTC to $1, working with exchanges for its successful completion. Recently, the community found a new focus to burn USTC and LUNC idle in other protocols. Vegas introduced a proposal to burn 800 million USTC or sent it to the community pool from Ozone Protocol. That's not the end. Don't forget to subscribe. Two anonymous on-chain investigators have earned Arkham Intel's inaugural bounty after providing considerable evidence of undisclosed wallets holding more than $160 million worth of digital assets tied to Terraform Labs and its founder, Do Kwon. This effort allowed the investigators, including one who describes himself as a glorified accountant, to win the bounty of ARKM tokens worth around $5,000. The wallets in question contain over 5,200 BTC. This figure contradicts Luna Foundation Guard's previous claims of being in possession of only 313 BTC. The Foundation had, back in May 2022, stated on Twitter, As of now, the Foundation's remaining reserves consist of the following assets. 313 BTC, 39,914 BNB, 1,973,554 AVAX, 1,847,079,725 UST, 222,750,000 7 Luna. The revelations made by Arkham's bounty hunters could have significant repercussions for Do Kwan. The Luna Foundation Guard's primary mission was to maintain the dollar peg of its algorithmic stablecoin, TerraUSD. The Foundation relied on its reserves of Bitcoin to maintain this peg by purchasing UST from the markets as a final line of defense against UST depegging. However, despite its efforts, both UST and Luna collapsed in May 2022, wiping around $40 billion in value from the markets. Arkham Intel expects more insights related to the wallets in question to emerge over the next few months. However, the issuer of the bounty, in this case, Arkham, maintains exclusive rights to the information unearthed for a period of 90 days. The Terra Collapse is often described as one of the most crippling events in the crypto space, triggering chaos in the markets and wiping billions in investor wealth. Terra founder Do Kwan had been on the run since the collapse but was recently apprehended in Montenegro on charges of traveling using forged documents. The arrest came after the United States Securities and Exchange Commission had accused Do Kwan and Terraform Labs of orchestrating a multi-billion dollar fraud. The Arkham Intel Exchange is hugely controversial, acting as a marketplace facilitating the trading of on-chain data. 
Despite the bounty, the platform has sparked considerable debate in crypto circles. Critics have flagged concerns about the potential misuse of private information by bad actors and have suggested that the platform could also facilitate the inadvertent creation of a surveillance marketplace. However, platform supporters have countered this argument, arguing that such a platform is necessary for unmasking bad actors in the crypto space and giving whistleblowers a secure avenue to disclose crucial information. The platform, launched on the 10th of July, has been described by critics as a glorified snitching service, with concerns that it could dox innocent users. Platform users can place bounties for information related to specific blockchain transactions, which would then be made available after a period of 90 days. That's not the end. Don't forget to subscribe. OPNX launches justice tokens for Terra whistleblower victims. Open Exchange, a derivatives and bankruptcy claim trading platform established by Three Arrows Capital founders Sue Ju and Kyle Davies, has announced the creation of Fatman Terra justice tokens. These tokens are designed to compensate those who have been negatively affected by defamation in the cryptocurrency space. The first batch of these tokens is intended to compensate those who suffered due to alleged defamation from Fatman Terra, a crypto influencer who became a significant whistleblower for Terraform Labs following its collapse in May last year. The Justice Tokens, which are ERC-20 tokens, will be distributed to holders of RLB, Luna, LUNC, and Ox. The tokens are described as independent meme tokens with no intrinsic value or backing, and they are not expected to provide any returns. The primary function of these tokens is to compensate victims of defamation. Each specific defamation case will have its own variant of the justice token, and each token will have a maximum supply of 1 billion. According to the tokenomics shared by Open Exchange, 75% of the supply will be distributed to users who stake their native token ox over a period of six months. 20% will go to liquidity providers, and the remaining 5% will be gifted directly to the Milady community. The announcement of the Justice Tokens had a noticeable impact on the market. Following the announcement, Ox, the native token of Open Exchange, gained as much as 22%, reaching an all-time high of $0.049. The Fat Man Terra Justice Token will be distributed equally between holders of Luna, Luncy, Ox, and RLB. Communities that OPNX states were harmed by a long-term malicious misinformation campaign mounted by Fat Man Terra. No information has been given on how the distribution will be. In a statement on Twitter, Fat Man Terra accused OPNX of committing fraud under his name. What do you think of it? What's your predictions? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Also, don't forget about Daily Giveaway where you can win 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like, and leave a comment, hash Terra Luna. Things are gonna get real flashy.